Okay, so I'm 60 years of age. I retired in January last year, and in February I decided I'd learn the piano. So I went out and bought myself a new Roland FP30 uh, piano weighted keys. Um, it was affordable. Um, I bought it from a local shop. They did me a very good deal, actually better than Amazon. So I was chuffed about that. And although I've got this other keyboard here, which all looked very, very flash, um, I actually bought that on eBay and it was broken. And uh, I just decided to fix it, and uh, which I've done. And the reason I bought it is because I just, after a little while of playing the piano, you end up getting a little bit bored with the same sounds. Although this FP30 has got quite a few different instruments to it, um, this Roland Juno, Juno D has an awful lot more. So you learn certain songs and occasionally it's just nice to um, try it and hear it in a, in a different sound. So that's kind of just a fun thing really. I, just, so I didn't spend a lot of money on it. It was, it was broken anyway. I managed to fix it and it just gives me a little bit more something else to play with. I'm actually kind of a little bit of a techno kind of person, so I just like having all these toys around me, even though I can't play them. As I say, all the gear and no idea. Anyway, I the route I decided to go, um, rather than go straight out and have piano lessons, is I actually went onto the internet, and there's a, I decided to go with something called Simply Piano. And I found this to be actually very, very useful. So it connects to an iPad. The iPad is then connected to my um, keyboard. And what happens is as you go through the instruction, it, you then have saved various tests. They'll give you a piece of music that you've been practicing and then you play it and it marks you um, out of three stars. So it'll give you a mark for how many notes you got right in the piece. Um, it'll mark you on the timing so as you, you, know, you get the right timing of, of the chords or the notes that you're playing and then it marks you on whether you need any assistance and the assistance being that you can change how fast the piece of music is played to you so you can either have it played in real time you can have it played to you at um, 80 percent speed or you can have it played to you at 60 percent speed so um and I, I must admit i find that really encouraging now what happens is as you go through the basics of that it then um splits into two so you can either go playing more the notes route through music or you can go through learning the chords route through music and what I decided to do rightly or wrongly I decided to go the chords route through so what happens is there is you're actually playing the accompaniment to a piece of music rather than actually playing um, an outright piece of music so in other words they'll play a song on here and they're quite well-known songs, could be something by Ed Sheeran or someone like that. And as the music's playing, you will play your chords, the accompaniment. And it's it's enjoyable, you know, it's enjoy it's actually quite interesting how quickly you can start to learn some chords. Um, and I'll show you in a while what I've learned so far, what I've learned so far. Because I, I don't, I'm no, I don't really want to be proficient at accompaniment. It would be, it would be much nicer if someone said, to me, "Oh, Tony, can you try and play me a piece of music?" And then they give me some basic sheet music, and I try and play an actual song, rather than do the accompaniment to a song. I think the accompaniment would be alright if I was proficient in singing. So if I had the notes here, so the words here rather, and I was singing the song, and then playing the accompaniment to that, the whole. Th the whole performance would sound quite quite good, but because I, I can't sing, um, then I think I'm going to go the notes route. But bearing in mind, even going the notes route, you're still going to be playing notes and a chord possibly in your left hand. Um, so that's what I've done. So I've, what I've done now, I've, I've got to pause my own with with the chords. I've now got now gone back to learning notes. Of a, of a session, 
I'll quickly put on so you can choose you can choose songs out of the library and I'll choose a, a song that just does chords so that I'm not forgetting I'm still practicing where I pretty much got up to with the chords and um, so that, that, that's where that's where I'm at So what I'm trying to do now is do the two together, which is really tricky. So it's going to be quite slow. So obviously I've done the I've done the C scale uh, in my left and right hand both at the same time, which as you saw was very difficult to start with. But within about three four days, I feel like I've kind of got the hang of that now. Starting from here. I could do it in this hand. So as you can see, you do three thumb under and I've got to do four and then three and then five so that's going to be the tricky bit so I'll just show you purpose of this video well the purpose of this video is my take on it it is never too late to learn a musical instrument people often refer back to the fact, oh yes but it's so much easier when you're younger now, that might possibly be the case but what I found is particularly if I'm reading a piece of music basic as it may be to make my brain make my fingers do the things that I'm asking it to do only comes from practice and that is the most important bit is practice 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 and I quite often even if I come into this room first thing in the morning I pull back the curtains just quickly turn on the keyboard and I might just practice something just for a couple of minutes before I go and put the kettle on that is the important it's the amount of time that you put into practicing so I, I disagree with the fact that oh yes I should have started this when I was so much younger well yes it might have been nice to have done it when I was younger but the important bit is just the practicing so, and what do I want to get out of it? Well, I'm, I'm hardly going to be doing a gig any day soon. Um, it was quite good fun at Christmas time. Um, the kids were saying to me about, I oh, will come and then show us how good you are. So I thought I'd throw it back on them. I said, okay, well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll play a piece of music, okay, or accompaniment a piece of music. Um, and what we'll do is we'll put the, uh, the words, the music on the television screen behind me there. You lot can all sing along and I'll just play the music.
Well done, everyone. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So, I am quite realistic that to get to a stage where someone might say to me, "Come on, Tony, play us something," that's going to take, I would say, two to three years. I think realistically. I think two to three years you could probably sit down and play a song fairly proficiently without any music um, from start to finish. And because I've set myself that goal two to three years, I think that's, I think that's very, very achiev achievable. Uh, I'll be 63 by then, 62, 63, that's okay. So yeah, my, my, the whole point of this very quick video is just to inspire people, particularly older people out there like myself who've retired, it's, it's just is is pick up is play something play something piano guitar whichever YouTube is absolutely amazing it's because there's so many things people on there that do the most amazing um, videos and inspire you I mean one particular one I'm really very fond of is one called Pianote. Note uh, there's a lady on there Lisa who does a lot of the instructions I mean not only is she very good at, at teaching how to do various things she's got a lovely voice too so it's, it's really lovely to watch um, so yeah please 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 um, give it a try but be patient please please be very very patient anyway I will, I will um, post another another film uh, vlog later on hopefully when I've uh, improved a little bit more and maybe inspire people to uh, keep going with me all right thank you very much for watching